Hello everyone, it is Emily with Super Awesome Cool Pottery coming at you today with a small lesson I have created inside of this spooky witch cat drawing I did for work. So what I'm going to be walking you through today when it comes to this drawing is exactly how I went about drawing the cat of our picture. So the very first thing we're going to go over is starting with the head of our cat. So we're going to be drawing a circle in for the head. Draw a line down the center of the face, bowing out in the direction the face is facing. This helps where to orient the eyes, nose, and mouth of our cat. The next thing we're going to start going over is drawing the body of the cat. Now since the back of our cat is what's facing us, we can be really, really loose and vague with our shapes. So I have a triangle for the chest of our cat that sort of is created by the teardrop back of our cat. Very blob-like. Then we just have our tail, which you're welcome to do in any shape you wish. Cat tails come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Another thing to keep in mind when we do these shapes is where everything else would be in relation to our body. So I do know that the front legs would be here. So I have that little bend in the back there to show where the shoulder would be and then where our back legs would be. It just sort of kind of rolls over that. And our cat is twisted so we want it to follow this sort of S-shape pattern. The next thing we want to go over is the face of our cat which we briefly went over. So we want our circle and then our line down the center to show which way our face is facing. Then I like to draw in the center of that our little cat's nose just below it its mouth. So there's a little three, upside down three, or a W. Draw in two big circles for its eyes. And then our ears. Now when it comes to our ears, they are key in showing the expression. So if you have them facing forward, it means alertness or happy. But if our ears are kind of turned backwards where we cannot see the inside, it might mean that the cat may be a little bit on the matter side. So when it comes to animals, the ears are the key to showing the expression of them. So if we wanted our cat to be evil, we might want to do something like that. But we have a happy cat on our hands here, luckily. Next on our list of things to do is the fur of our cat. Fur is one of my favorite things to draw when it comes to cats. Or any animal, in fact. And essentially it's going to follow this sort of spike-like pattern. But to make it a little bit more interesting, feathering out those lines, kind of going up and down, making them all different lengths and sizes and widths and sort of bowing out in different directions can really bring that fur to life. So being really loose with it, being really flexible with it can really bring your creature to life. And where I like to place these fur tufts is entirely dependent on you. I like to do them like on the sides of the head and the top of the head, on the chest area or any place that has a like point to it so you can see on the back where the legs touch anywhere where it bends would be a place where the fur would stand out and that's all I have for you guys today so I hope you enjoyed that small little tutorial and I'll let you guys get back to enjoying the video